Hello, how's everybody doing today? It's Kelowna here, and I know I said I was gonna pop in at four, but it's a little after, sorry. You'd think with all this um, time on our hands, being quarantined and being in lockdown in our homes that um, we would be punctual, but sorry. Got my kids outside playing. <laughs> Hopefully the dog's not gonna bark, but I'm here. Um, hi, Andrea Juliana, yay! So I really was feeling compelled to come in here and do some sort of live education that would be helpful for everyone to raise their energy, raise their frequency, and shift everyone over into more of a positive mindset because collectively, I think we can all agree that we are feeling some sort of um, well, I don't know what you're feeling, but there's a lot going on right now. There's heaviness, um, uncertainty, fear, negativity, a lot out there in the media, on the news, on our social media. And so I've been thinking of how can we support each other and what can we do as a community um, and also just for ourselves, which will spill over into affecting our loved ones or the people that we are in lockdown with, if you're in lockdown. So this is what I, the kind of number one thing that I felt most compelled to talk about was frequency and essential oils and how we can actually change our own frequency. And this might be something that you've heard about before or maybe not. So I'm gonna kind of go over some basics. And if you want more information about this, you should definitely grab yourself a copy of the Essential Oils Desk Reference. So you can get it from Life Science Publishers and it's the best resource that you will have for Young Living products and oils. So everybody should have a desk reference. It's the hands down, it's the first book I ever got um, from once I started using Young Living Oils and it is something that I go back to time and time again. So a lot of the information that I'm sharing is taken straight from that desk reference and then I have lots of other um, resources and so I put together like a little outline for you guys and I my intention is that everyone will feel uplifted and in a more positive state. So when you come in here, say hello, maybe share where you are watching from because we have people in this group from all over the US and all over the world. So it's fun to kind of see where everybody is coming in from, especially at a time right now when different places in the world are experiencing different things, right? So thanks for joining. Thanks for coming in here. We're going to talk about frequency. So everyone, if you have a couple essential oils with you, that's great. Hopefully everyone brought something and if not, no worries. I have a little array of essential oils here. I'm just going to apply some Valor right now. Valor is one of my favorite oils and we're going to learn that Valor is an actual an oil that works more with the structural and the physical body and it's a lower frequency oil but Valor helps me to feel grounded and calm so I'm gonna take some deep breaths of that and if you have an oil with you you can take a couple deep breaths of that now too so we'll start out by shifting our frequency before we even actually start talking about frequency okay couple deep breaths and if you don't have an oil with you just take some deep breaths anyway because we know that bringing more oxygen into our systems is always a healthy thing and when we are nervous or scared or anxious we start shutting down our breath and uh, it's important to open that up and bring more oxygen into our tissues so a couple deep breaths okay so we know let's dive right in that our thoughts and our emotions our body, everything is made of energy. And there is science that talks about how everything comes from energy. There's energy all around us. And then there are people who see energy and feel energy. So for anyone who is a healer of any sort, um, you might be able to see energy or feel energy in people's bodies. But either way, whether you're on kind of the more spiritual side of things or you're on the more science side of things, energy is everything. And, um, everything is vibrating at a certain frequency. So we each have a vibration in our bodies at all times. And we even have a vibration in us that communicates with the world. 
So the way we are feeling and the thoughts that we are thinking um, either lower or raise our energetic vibrant or you know frequency. So if you think about, well, we'll get more into it, but it helps shape our reality based on the things that we think and the things that we're feeling and the things that come into our life, the people that come into our lives, the situations that come into our lives, it's all affected by what we're thinking, which creates our emotions, which then affects what's happening inside our physical body. So it kind of starts back with our thoughts and all of those have an energetic frequency to them. So just thinking about that is so powerful. And there's a book that goes more into detail about that. The author is Penny Pierce and it's called Frequency, the Power of Personal Vibration. So if this is something you're interested in, you can go study more about it. Or if it's something you're skeptical about, you could go study more about it so you have um, a better understanding of it. So people who are sensitive to energy can feel the difference when holding a Young Living essential oil versus holding or using an essential oil that maybe has some chemical, you know, chemicals in it. Like say you go to the grocery store and you grab an essential oil or you grab an essential oil at Target that was made in a lab with synthetic chemicals. That essential oil doesn't have any frequency. It's it's basically dead. It doesn't have, you know, any frequency that's going to do anything for your body. It might smell interesting, right? Because it's made to smell good, but an essential oil made from Young Living that was, you know, gone through the seed to seal process from the soil it's planted in all the way through the process of it being harvested and distilled, you know, when the plant is at the height of its bloom and then being distilled at the right pressure, the right temperature for the right amount of time, that yields an oil that has a super high frequency. This is basically a living substance. So very big difference between an essential oil that you're finding elsewhere. So that's why we love Young Living Oils because anyone who's sensitive to energy or frequency is like, oh yeah, I can tell the difference. And even if you think you're not, you probably can tell the difference once you open the bottle and you smell it and you compare it to something else, right? Another peppermint oil might smell like candy. Our peppermint oil is very botanical. It goes up into the sinuses. It, you know, you have this like experience when you smell a Young Living Oil, right? So that's the difference about you know our oils and why they hold a higher frequency. It's the way they're made and the care that goes into the whole entire process from the seed to the seal. So frequency, just the definition of frequency, it's defined as the rate at which vibration occurs when a continuous wave, either as in something material like a sound wave or an electromagnetic field like a radio or light wave, and it's usually measured per second. And we talk about frequency in megahertz, right? When we talk about different things, and I'm gonna talk about that more in a minute. There's a great quote by Albert Einstein too that I wanted to share. And he says, everything is energy and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want to create and you cannot help but get that reality. There's no other way. So I love that because whatever we're thinking, whatever we're doing, whatever we're feeling, whatever emotion, we're, we're creating um, exactly that. And the more that you study this and start to think about it, the more that you'll see miracles happening in your life when you're expecting miracles and when you're looking for good things to happen and when you're keeping your frequency high. That's why we're talking about this, especially during this time when a lot of us are feeling gloom and doom and you know stress and worry and uncertainty. It's important to acknowledge what's happening and deal with whatever is going on with your own health or your families or whatever is in your immediate environment, but then also doing something to recharge and rejuvenate yourself. So that's why we're talking about energy and frequency today. So when we do talk about energy and frequency, we often talk about chakras, right? Those are the seven main energy centers in the body. They start at the base of the spine and they come you know, all the way up to the top of the head. We have these different um, chakras, energy centers, and each one of them you know, ha has organs that correspond to it. And the chakras are kind of, um, they can be excessive or they can be depleted. So it's when we talk about raising our frequency, using the chakras or being aware of these different energy centers can be one way that we increase the frequency in our, not only our you know emotional body and our spiritual bodies, but it affects our physical body as well because there is a physical correlation with, with each of those energy centers. And that's, um, we could do a whole class on chakras, which is really fun. But um, there is another book um, called The Body Electric by Dr. Robert O. Becker. And he confirms that the body has an electrical frequency and says that our health 
can be determined by the frequency of our body. And it makes me wish like we could all find out what our frequency is right now, right? We could all find out where we are right now and then breathe some oils and see where we're at. I don't know, um, I don't know who has one of those machines, but I'd like to know exactly what my frequency is, right? Um, so our thoughts and our emotions can change, you know, change our energy. When we experience positive thoughts like joy and love, our frequency goes up. And when we experience fear and negativity or nervousness or anxiety, it lowers our frequency. So this is a law of attraction. Whatever we're thinking and feeling is what we're gonna get more of. So the more you get in a low vibration state and you're focusing on negativity, you're gonna keep attracting more of that. The more of that's gonna show up for you. So it's important for us to figure out a way to shift that. And you know, negative feelings end up really lowering not only um, our immunity, but our ability just to fight off illness and disease. So that's another reason why we want to keep our frequency high because negative thinking can actually lead to disease in our body. So that, that right there is enough to make us be like, oh, you know, I wanna raise my frequency. <laughs> I don't want any disease in my body, right? Um, so we wanna maintain positive thinking to help us live a more happy and abundant life and attract you know, more health and everything that we want kind of to us. So um, Bruce Tanio, there is some studies that he did and they're in the desk reference that I mentioned on frequency and disease and it's super fascinating. And he's the one who said, you know, everything can be measured in megahertz and he started measuring these different things. So for example, canned food, zero. There's like nothing happening in canned food. I'm not saying that you can't ever eat canned food. <laughs> like we're all, if you're in lockdown and you're not able to get fresh food, like somebody's gonna be eating canned food. We all eat canned food every once in a while. Don't feel bad. But just to know that there, there's no frequency in that. So if you're wanting to increase your frequency, you want to add some fresh foods into your diet, right? So there's a chart in the book and it says fresh foods resonate between 20 and 27 megahertz. Now, if you're eating organic, that's gonna go up even more because if it's freshly picked and it's organically grown, there's gonna be higher frequency there. So if you're growing your own food or buying from your local farmer's market, you're probably gonna have even higher frequency than the 20 to 27 megahertz. And then dry herbs are between 15 and 22 megahertz. Fresh herbs are between 20 and 27. And then, you know, essential oils, they start at 52 megahertz and then they go up to a lot of the references talk about rose being the highest at 320 megahertz, but I'm going to tell you in a little while, there's another oil that's even higher than that. We're going to talk about that in a minute. So our human body, like when we are healthy, we usually resonate between 62 and 78 megahertz when we're like feeling good. When we start, when disease sets in or illness sets in, that frequency starts to go down. And there's actually, I think I have... Um, I think I have a chart here at the different, you know, that talks about, you know, what happens, colds and flus and things like that. Let me look and see if I have it in my book right here, but um, I don't know if I have it right here, but basically, oh, here we go. Oh, there's a study actually. I don't have it right here, but there's a study that talks about how when you drink a cup of coffee, it lowers your frequency. It's very interesting. And you know, again, not to say that you can't drink coffee, but it's interesting because this this study talks about two individuals and the first person took a sip of coffee or no, held the cup of coffee and their frequency dropped down just from 66 to 58 megahertz, just from holding the coffee in their hand. And then when he um, put the coffee down and inhaled some essential oils, his frequency went back to 66. Isn't that cool? So I love all these studies that Bruce Tanio did. It's just very interesting. And then, you know, drinking the coffee, you know, would lower your frequency and then you could use some oils and get it back up. I don't know. But um, basically illness and disease sets in after you get into like the 50s and then there's, you know, gets lower with cancer and death and different things. So we don't want to get ourselves into those low frequencies because we want to keep our frequency high and stay well. So um, clinical research shows that essential oils have the highest frequency of any substance on the planet. So we're so lucky that we have all of these essential oils that we can use and that they are the highest frequency substance on the planet because we have all these wonderful foods and, you know, these other things that, you know, it's nice to be aware of that fresh food and organic food is good for you and that's important. But when we use our oils, that's, that's the best thing that we can do. So 
when, you know, it's fascinating to think you put an oil on the bottom of your feet and it basically travels to the brain and takes effect within a minute, right? Like the essential oil molecules are so tiny, they travel through our body so fast, whether they're being breathed aromatically, whether we're rubbing them on topically, or whether we're taking them, you know, in a capsule or taking them internally, they're getting into every cell of our body. So when we breathe them, take a deep breath of an oil, or you're breathing it out of a diffuser, or breathing it out of the bottle, it takes 22 seconds for it to reach the brain. That's pretty quick. If you're topically, if you know you're putting it on, you're rubbing it on your skin, it takes two minutes to get into the bloodstream and 20 minutes to be in every cell in the body. And one thing that I always remember when I read that is I remember when I first started doing the raindrop technique on people and you put oils on the soles of the feet with something called the VitaFlex technique and you work along the spinal reflex points on the feet. And I remember putting peppermint oil on people's feet and they would tell me later in the session that they could taste peppermint in their mouth. I had that happen a couple times and I was like, wow, it's putting oils on someone's feet and they're tasting it in their mouth, you know? That's how strong they are. So they work fast, they work well, and they increase our frequency. So we wanna make sure that we are keeping ourselves well oiled. And there's also a good chart in the desk reference it's probably in the pocket reference as well, which is the smaller version that just talks about the oils and kind of some basics. It doesn't have all the Young Living products in it, but there's um, a chart that talks about oils, you know, different single oils and different blends and what frequencies they resonate at. And I love, this is a chart that I don't know if this chart's available anymore, but I love this chart. Let me see if I can show you guys this chart. Um, it's basically a chart which shows the different chakras and it talks about emotions, it talks about the physical body and um, spiritual influence of each oil. And there's kind of this like colored bar along the side, I guess that's upside down, that talks about the frequency of the oils. Now, these ones right here are the lower frequency oils. So there's like purification and valor, they're lower frequency oils. And then it goes all the way up to these super high frequency oils. And you can see that, I think it's backwards for you, but rose, is the highest and you know there's another one we're going to talk about in a minute but rose was the highest for a long time and forgiveness is up there and joy and so when we're talking about raising our frequency or the frequency of the oils i like mentioning that you know valor and some of the lower frequency oils it doesn't mean that that's not good for you or that the other oils are better valor and the lower frequency oils like purification melrose basils on there they work with the physical body and the structure of our body, which is super important as well. And these are still, a lot of these oils are still higher than the foods that we're eating and things like that. The middle range oils, so the oils that are kind of in this middle range between like, you know, the 80s or starting to be in the 90s, those oils are for emotional support. And then the super high frequency oils that are in the hundreds and, you know, higher up into the rose oil at 320, those are the spiritual oils that helped us con help us connect on that spiritual level, that mind-body-spirit connection. So I think that's really interesting when talking about the oils to think about them being physical, emotional, or spiritual. And you don't have to have that memorized. You don't have to know any of that. You can just intuitively grab an oil, take some deep breaths of it, and put it somewhere on your body. And we know that they work. But when I read things like this, I get so excited because we can be intentional about it. And the other thing about being intentional about the use of the oils is that when we use intention with either prayer or meditation or positive thoughts, that raises our frequency. So there was another study done that talks about our thoughts and how if you, you know, you can measure your frequency wherever you're at. And then if you think something negative, it actually lowers your frequency more than when you think something positive. So it's more detrimental to think something negative. It actually brings your frequency down 12 megahertz when you have negative thoughts. And when you are at this baseline and you think something positive, it raises your frequency 10 megahertz. So if you're using an essential oil and you're being intentional and you're setting a specific intention for health or healing in your own body or even sending positive thoughts to someone else or to the whole world. Like think how powerful we could be if we are all raising our own frequency and teaching other people how to do that. 
and then spreading that vibration into the world right now. You know, like the world needs some help. We all need some help. The world needs some help on a big level. And it starts with right here, you know? So if you wanna change the world, you gotta change yourself first. So we can each grab an oil, be intentional, start thinking positive thoughts, and at least let that ripple out into our own family and into our own community and just imagine it kind of going, going to the whole world right now. Um, so that's a little bit about frequency and oils. Let me see if there's anything else I wanted to share before we actually get out some oils. Um, I think that was about it, yeah. So I got some, some oils here and I know I shared with you that rose oil is the highest frequency oil. Now, a lot of people have not tried rose yet and why is that? A lot of people haven't tried rose because rose is the most expensive oil that Young Living has because it is a very difficult oil to make, to get the rose oil out of the rose petals. That takes effort and a lot of rose petals. And so therefore this oil is expensive and a lot of people don't get it right away or they kind of have to save up for it. So don't feel bad if you don't have rose oil. What you can do until you get yourself a bottle of rose, you can look up the different blends that have rose oil in them. So you could get yourself some joy. You could get yourself some acceptance or you could get yourself some forgiveness or just look up if you go to your pocket reference or your desk reference or they even have an app life science publishers has an app and you can go and you can look up any oil or any blend and what's cool is at the bottom of rose oil it'll say other products that have rose oil in them and it'll list like rose ointment and all the oils all the different blends everything that has rose oil in it so you could get yourself a bottle of joy in the meantime or something else. And you don't have to have rose to raise your frequency, but I just like the idea that it has that super high frequency. And what I notice with rose oil, I'm very sensitive to energy. And I did healing work, hands-on healing work for over 20 years, putting my hands on people doing massage, craniosacral, Reiki, raindrop, lots of different um, healing techniques. And when I incorporated essential oils into my practice, there was a huge shift in me and in all of my clients. And I knew it was the oils. And that's when I shifted into teaching people about essential oils because they were like, whoa, what's going on? I feel amazing. And I'm doing the same healing work, but the oils combined with the intention of theirs, the intention of mine and whatever the technique was that I was using was like through the roof. And so what I realized is, oh my gosh, I can help so many more people. If I teach people how to use these oils, they use them on themselves. Not that we don't need to go out and get acupuncture, chiropractic, you know, go see people, get massage. But for me, it was so much more fulfilling to sit in a room or jump on live and teach people how they can raise their frequency, increase their health and wellness with these oils. So rose oil whatever oil you have, I'm gonna use rose. And what I notice with this oil is that when I put it on, I feel almost a little bit um, high. That's why I have to use Valor first. I have to like keep, you know, I wanna be grounded. I wanna be connected to the earth. I want to be centered, but it also feels really amazing for me, you know, swirl the oil. If you have an oil, get out your oil, put a drop in your hands. And if you want, um, share in the comments what oil you're using after we do this. I'd like to see what oils everybody grabbed. So swirl three times clockwise that activates the oil to your energy and then rub your hands together and take some deep breaths. So rose oil to me is almost like an intoxicating uh, sensation. It almost makes you feel a little bit high or you know I don't know how else to describe it it puts me in an altered state I mean I'm still here I'm still with you but it definitely brings um I don't know how to like warmth vibration energy something that I, I I've never felt before you know what I mean and so I usually I often will carry rose in my purse and I share it with people especially people that already love essential oils I'm like oh you want to try something cool here and I'll often tell people to place a drop of rose so if and when you get that oil or even if you're using joy or another blend that has rose in it of course intuitively put it wherever you want a nice places over the heart 
because both of those oils, Joy and Rose, are great heart chakra oils. But I also like to put it right on my crown chakra because this is our kind of spiritual connection. That's where I am intuitively drawn to put Rose. And oftentimes I'll just hold the bottle over my head and let a drop fall right on the top of my head and then I'll rub it in. And whatever oil I have left on my hands, I'll breathe and you know put it somewhere else but I'm just sharing um you know I don't no one taught me to drop rose on top of my head like that was just something that I intuitively did and I was like oh that makes me feel amazing I want to share that with other people so that's why I'm telling you about that but um whatever oil you have I'd love to hear and we would all love to hear what oils you grabbed when I said grab three oils and if you didn't um don't worry about it but it's fun to see what you're using and what you're choosing right now during this time of possibly a lot of stress and anxiety and fear and things like that. Earlier I was using stress away. I was rolling stress away on my wrists. My dog came over and was like interested in it. And then I was rolling it on Paul and putting it on his wrists. Like just, you know, you look at your phone, you read the news and everything starts to feel a little bit panicky, right? So then you grab an oil, raise your frequency, get yourself back to center and you're better for it. So the other oil, that I really like right now and that I think is really important to use during this time is acceptance. And this, let me see where it falls, if it's on our little chart. I don't know if it's even on the little chart to tell me how high a frequency it is. I don't know that I have it here. But for me, acceptance is so important right now because there's, there's not a lot that, other than raising our frequency, there's not a lot that we can do. You know, you, we, we, a lot of us don't know what to do. We're kind of confined to our house or we're not able to travel. You know, plans are canceled. Like everything's changing and in flux and it's uncertain. So when we have times like that, which most of us have never actually experienced anything like this, anything that's upsetting or kind of feels like a big change it's important to, on some level, be able to detach and trust that we're all going to learn something from this. We're all going to be better for it. And acceptance oil helps me to accept the situation. And so get out whatever oil you have, if you have another oil with you, and allow a drop to fall in your hand. So with acceptance oil, I like to put it over my heart. You can put it wherever you want and if you have acceptance you can get it if you don't i i would put it on your list on your wish list so swirl whatever oil you're using clockwise and take some deep breaths and the nice thing about breathing oils is you notice how much more it makes you breathe like take deeper breaths because we forget to take those deep breaths. I know I mentioned that earlier and I mentioned that before, I mentioned it all the time, but it's so important to remember to take deep breaths when we smell something we enjoy the aroma of. That's why I wanna hear what you're using. You know, even citrus oils like lemon or orange or citrus fresh, they're so uplifting. When you smell something like that, oh my gosh, not only is it having an effect on your limbic brain, the seat of your emotions, that little amygdala, it's really changing our physiology and it's making us take these deep breaths, which gets more oxygen into our system and makes us feel better like instantly. So breathing your oils and being intentional like that and taking the deep breaths, two breaths, three breaths, you could even sit there for 30 seconds and take deep breaths of whatever oil you have and notice how you feel after you do that and then have your kids do it, have your spouse do it, have your whoever is around you, have everyone do that because it really is going to shift everybody's energy and frequency. So I'm going to take my acceptance oil and I will rub that right over my heart because that's where I feel like I like that oil. So last but not least, uh, the oil that is higher frequency than rose and less expensive is Northern Lights Black Spruce. So Northern Lights Black Spruce is a very special oil that's made from all the parts of the tree, the needles, the trunk, the branches, and it is grown up where the Northern Lights or the Aurora Borealis, the energy of that. And so it's a very um, strong tree that can withstand really cold temperatures and it's harvested in the winter and it's a very special blend and it's supposed to have a frequency of over 500 megahertz. So if you haven't tried Northern Lights Black Spruce yet, you might want to get yourself a bottle of that. 
I don't remember how much it is right now, but I know it's less than rose. Everybody can get this oil. I hope it's in stock. I hope it is. So if you have another oil, we're just getting high on oils right now because why not, right? Get a couple drops, swirl it to activate the oil to your energy, rub your hands together and take some deep breaths. And even though this is a very high frequency oil, it doesn't make me feel the same as rose. It has a more grounding feeling and I will often use Northern Lights Black Spruce like I do the other, I call them tree oils, like pine or Idaho Grand Fur, even eucalyptus. A lot of times those tree oils, I feel like putting them around my lower back like on my sacrum, because that's a very grounding place, right? Tree oils, they um, have deep roots. They are connected to the earth. So I feel more of a kind of grounding feeling when I use Northern Lights Black Spruce, but everybody is gonna feel differently when they use these oils. There's no right or wrong way to feel, but no matter what, we know that when we breathe them, we use them, we put them on our body, they're raising our frequency. So. Whether you love this and you want to memorize the frequency and read more about it and, you know, talk about it or not, just know that anytime you grab an oil and breathe it, you're raising your frequency. So we're all going to be better. We're all going to feel better. We're all going to be happier. We're going to have more positive thoughts. And we know that if we set an intention as we're breathing our oil, let's do that right now. Set an intention. Think about, so if you're not used to setting an intention, it's like making a wish. If you're someone who prays, it's like pr praying, you know, praying for something. Think of something specific. Now that we've had all these nice deep breaths of oils and oxygenated our systems and we're clear and feeling better, this is a great time. We've just taken care of ourselves. We've balanced our energy. We're grounded. We're spiritually connected. Our emotions, you know, higher, heightened. Think of something that you'd like to create or attract or manifest. It could be something really specific or it could be something general like sending healing out into the world. But whatever it is, take a moment, close your eyes and just take a moment to set an intention. Mm, that's powerful. So if you want to share your intention in the comments, that would be cool. I would love to hear, I'd also love to hear how you're feeling right now. So I know some people are watching live and other people are gonna come back and watch this later. And you can like hashtag replay and tell us, like I wanna hear what oils you use. I wanna hear how you're feeling. Um, I wanna know if you need extra love and support right now, if you have a friend or family member that is suffering from coronavirus or you're suffering from it yourself, or like, I, you know, this is a great place for us to connect. We are a community, we help each other. And if someone is struggling, we wanna be able to help you. So comment below if you need some extra prayers or intention in your life and we'll all send you some good vibes. But I'd love to hear what everyone um, set their intention for or prayed for and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or evening. And let me know if you have any questions. I didn't actually read through to see if you guys were asking questions on here, but I can go back and do that and see if there's any questions. So have a wonderful night. Thank you guys so much for joining and keep your frequency high. <laughs> okay, bye.